Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now this is going to be your second Thieves' Den video of the day. Your second. The Thieves' Den did change about 30 minutes ago. So remember this is Thursday, December 12th, 2019. Quick overview. The Thieves' Den moved to DZ West. DZ West. So get this while you can, you guys. I'm going to hit this right here. You have five hours. Five hours. That's not a lot of time, and it's going to be worth it. This is going to be a big shout-out to Airsoft and Insurrect for helping me. For some reason, I couldn't get this Thieves Den vendor to show up until I went into a group. But here we guys go. Remember, if you enjoy this, mash that like. And if you are new, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comments section below. But I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. This is a must pick up, you guys. This is the sacrifice. The sacrifice. It is a named Providence Defense backpack. And it has perfectly on the ropes. This is the first time I've seen it in the Thieves' Den. It might have been out before, but this is a good one. So... What you have on here is you have two yellows and a red. Remember, on the ropes, you need seven yellows. It also comes with a red mod slot. So what you can do is you can keep that weapon damage on there and then either re-roll the skill haste or the skill power. It doesn't matter. You have vital for your health. And, you know, you could roll a blue on there if you want to get a little bit more sustainability. But remember, this is for damage and it's for running yellows. So right off the bat, you already have three yellows, uh, two yellows just on this build, and two out of the seven. I mean, you're, you're already getting there. Um, so pick it up, you guys, perfectly on the ropes. Remember, your weapon damage is increased by 20% if all your skills are on cooldown. This is a great one to pick up. You could run this with a DPS build, and you could run like heals in a DPS, something like that. Uh, it's a good pickup. But all right. That is that. That is your named item of the night, I guess, not of the day. And yeah, there you go. So we're going to go through the gear set items and then finish up with the high end items. Ongoing directive holster, red and yellow, and two red mod slots. Crit chance is too low, and so is the skill haste. I would not pick that up. True Patriot, chess piece, two reds and a blue with insulated. Also comes with a red, blue, and yellow mod slot. Weapon damage is low, crit chances okay, and the armor is low. Extraction. Insulated's okay, but I would probably not pick this up. Hardwired chest piece comes with two yellows or two reds and a yellow. You have crit chance, headshot damage, and skill power. Also has hardened, and then you have the yellow, blue, and red mod slot. Again, uh, the attributes are not that great. I would not pick this up. Negotiator's Dilemma Mask comes with a blue and a yellow. Health on kill and skill power and a blue mod slot again, I would pass. Tip of the Spear Mask, red and yellow. Damage to elites and skill power with a red mod slot. Uh, both uh, the skill power is okay, but the damage to elites is low. So what I would do is I would max out the damage to elites and utilize that red mod slot. Tip of the Spear is a great PvE build. And finally, the Aces and Eights gloves comes with two reds. You have Marksman rifle damage and rifle damage with a red mod slot. I would not pick this up because you are looking for Marksman rifle damage and crit chance. And those are your gear set items of the night. The only one I would probably pick up if you need it is the tip of the spear mask. Let's finish up with the high end items. Trying to knock this out as quick as possible for you guys. Let's put on the base damage. Hey there. All right, high-end items. Here we go. Carbine 7. Base damage 11.5k. And then with the build I'm on, it's 18.4. Overflowing Jazz Hands Everlasting. I would not pick this up. M870 Express. Low base damage. Sadist Jazz Hands. I would not pick that up either. Overlord Armament Chest Piece. You have Health Percentage, Weapon Damage, and Crit Damage with Hardened and two blue mod slots. 
Um, that's actually decent. I would re-roll the crit damage for either health or armor, what have you. Just keep the, uh, the low health percentage and that weapon damage. That's actually not a bad pickup. Sokolov Concern knee pads with crit chance and health with Entrench. Uh, if you like to run Entrench, do it, but not on Sokolov, so I'll pass. Offensive Protocol mod, critical. Weapon damage, optimal range, and headshot damage. I would pass. Do not pick that up. And finally, you have a Hive mod for the system slot. You have skill haste for 92.3%. That's decent. That's that's okay. It's not a perfect one, but it's decent. Alright guys, so uh, quick overview. I would recommend you guys get the Sacrifice all day. Uh, that's a good one. The True Patriot chess piece is okay. Tip of the Spear Mask is okay. But the Overlord Armaments chess piece is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's got Hardened, so you're not going to be running Berserk, what have you, but you can definitely turn this into a tank build uh, fairly quick. All you need to do is reroll that crit hit damage for a blue, and then utilize the two blue mod slots. You can definitely make that a little tanky. But alright, you guys, that's it. Kamikaze Von Doom, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.